Rabbi Kalman Sam Emeralds, we're in Shalva, which is the largest facility of its kind in the world, 220,000 square feet. Uh, tell us what is Shalva and how did it get to this point? Shalva means serenity, peace of mind. It's an organization that my wife and I set up many years ago, and its source of that name is biblical. It's Psalms 122 verse 7. May there be peace in your walls, shalva, serenity, within your palaces. We chose that name because what we desire to do in this organization is to provide serenity and peace of mind for people who don't have it. And we can hear some of the activity going on right now. This is a place with a lot of life, but it didn't start this way. You have a thousand people that you service almost every day, but it started with your son, Yossi. Tell us about that. Uh, our second child, Yossi, at the age of 11 months, was taken by Malki to a public health center to get a routine vaccination. And unbeknown to her and unbeknown to the community, they were having problems with a batch of that vaccine. Yossi was injured, and amongst many others, and he became blind, deaf, and very hyperactive. So our lives got flipped on its head. Well-meaning visitors to my wife often said, you know, you can't manage a household with a child with these disabilities, and you should consider finding another setting for him. And Malki used to cry and say, God, I'm never taking Yossi out of the home, but if you ever decide to help my Yossi, I will dedicate my life to helping other mothers and their children. And seven years later, we were witness to the Helen Keller miracle where Yossi got suddenly a breakthrough to communication when a woman in the deaf school spelled the word table in Hebrew letters in the palm of his hand and he suddenly realized that that was this object. He quickly learned how to spell. He was then taught how to speak Hebrew synthetically. And my dear wife sat me down and said, it's payback time. I made a promise that if God ever helps, I will dedicate my life to other women. God has helped and I want to set up a center to help these youngsters. It started with six children and one garden apartment. Malki ran the programs. By this time I was in the computer field and we thought it was amazing to be able to serve six kids. What we didn't know is that God has a great sense of humor and very different plans and it kept growing in leaps and in bounds and today indeed we serve over 1,000 people a day from birth all the way to adulthood and with their families, providing quality of life to them and their families. And as you can hear, this place rocks. It, does. it rocks 24 seven. Tell. So it's not only the biggest physically, it's probably the biggest care center anywhere. And also Shalva has made world news not long ago. The Shalva band played for Eurovision where literally Hundreds of millions of people saw the Shalva band. Tell us about that. The goal of all our programs at Shalva is to focus on abilities and not on disabilities and try to maximize those abilities. Uh, over a decade ago, we began a music program designed to create a band, which we thought would be a nice in-house band. And we took kids with musical ability who were younger, older, and we took a, a great musical director and he began to work. What developed was beyond anything we could have imagined. Last year, they were invited to play on Israel's version of America Has Talent. And whereas we thought they might win once, they rocked and they knocked off the competition and they got to the finals. Uh, having done so, they would have been able to play in Eurovision as contestants, except that the finals fell on the Sabbath and some of the children are religious kids and they couldn't play. So the whole band decided we're not playing. It was huge news when they withdrew. But then the Eurovision folks came back and said, we'd like them to play as guest artists at Eurovision. So they sang A Million Dreams from The Greatest Showman at Eurovision in front of more than 200 million people 
and it made waves all through Europe with the BBC and everybody else featuring this band. If anyone like to see it, the Shalva band, A Million Dreams on Eurovision. But I warn you, take a piece of Kleenex with you. Final question, Rabbi Samuels. You've written a book called Dreams Never Dreamed. What's the biggest takeaway you want people when they read that book? I think the biggest takeaway is, with God's help, ordinary people can sometimes do things that are not considered ordinary. We could never have dreamt of this. We're, we're people who tried, who pushed, and we see a blessing that we have been able to build something that we're humbled by what it has become. But it's not about us. It's about every one of us as human beings, that we have to have our dreams, we have to follow our dreams, and with God's help, these dreams can come true. Well, that's a great message, especially in these days right now, Rabbi. Oh, are they ever. May God help us all. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris.